Jessica here from Jayworker Dog and Pet Intel. I'm on my way to see Ping today, and this is our third session of eight of our reframing reactivity program. Just a reminder that Ping is a Bernadoodle. She is a little over nine months, and um, she's sort of presented with like generalized fear, anxiety, um, uh, hypervigilance, and uh, reactivity, but zero aggression family is working closely with their veterinarian and has started her on a Prozac protocol. She's also wearing a pheromone collar to help uh, ease any sort of stress and anxiety as an added support. And we have changed the protocols in the home, included a lot more chewing, a lot more confinement time, structured, organized activities, enrichment games. Uh, we've really ceased the proper walks that they were going on in the neighborhood and now they're just quick pee breaks. Today, I'm taking Ping out for the first time. So I've noticed that every single time I come, Ping is getting a little bit more comfortable with me. We're definitely not at a place yet where she is comfortable with me, but uh, we are seeing some changes in her where she is a little bit more brave, less flighty, things like this. So um, I'm not really sure what to make of them, whether they're improvements, or if it's just that she's becoming more familiar with me as an um, individual. So um, I can't be 100% sure what it is. However, we are seeing some changes. As many of you know, if you follow my videos, I do like to use my car to help socialize dogs to the world. I have a um, temperature controlled vehicle because it's a hybrid, so uh, it uses very little emissions, if any, to, to be able to park and to sit in, in, in situations and, and monitor and observe and watch environments and sort of get a sense of how the dog is observing what's going on around them. The car is really comfortable and it gives um, the, the dog an opportunity to observe the world, to take things in with their nose, eyes and ears without having to be in the middle of it all. So there's like a safety net around them. So um, I do understand that she has a decent relationship with vehicles in general, and I'm hoping that we can start to, to grow on that and use the car as an opportunity to get her out into the community to watch and observe and smell safely from the confines of, um, you know, what she hopefully will associate as a safe space. One of the biggest difficulties when you're working with a dog who is afraid of you <laughs> is that it's, uh, without having an established relationship or rapport with the dog, it's very difficult to demonstrate anything for the owners. Um, and so we are gonna start working on building a little bit more on that relationship. So today I'm taking her on my own so the owners aren't coming with. Um, and we will just have our hour together and I'll be able to report back to the family how she did. I'll take lots of video footage, which I'm going to share with you now, and, uh, and we will all be able to sort of recount what happened, recreate things that were constructive, don't do the things that aren't working, and so on and so forth, and hopefully I will start to build a stronger and stronger relationship with Pink so that I can continue to help and support the family by working with her independently and also by demonstrating for them how they should best handle. Okay. 
Okay. Good. Hey, look, baby. Good. Baby. Good. Job. Wow, nice work, Kay. You're using your nose? That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm gonna go small here. Let's see. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Very nice, Kay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here it goes. You ready to roll? Yeah. We made it in the car. We're listening to wave sounds. I'm going to turn them down a bit. We're panicking a little bit. I'm just waiting to see. Good. Yeah, she's trying to get out of the car. But she is tethered. Good girl. You're okay, baby. 
I like that she can still use her nose. I like that she can still do a body shake. She's still trying to take tension out. And these are completely reasonable feelings. Let's see if she can get her nose engaged. Can you get your nose engaged? Not so much. That's okay. We're just gonna sit here in the driveway for a few minutes. Okay, so we have our wave sounds on. Yeah. And we're just gonna drive away from the house here. time we're passing by the Tim Hortons drive through Good. Let's see if she wants this to get her nose engaged. Probably not. It's okay. We're gonna go park in a parking lot but like far away from the entrance to things. So we're heading about a bigger area than the one next to our house because I want to give her space to people watch. Good. She's looking at everything. She's really observant. So she's watching the people in the car next to us over there. And all the moving cars. And now a bike in front of us. And people walking on the street. There's the bike that she's watching now. Good girl. The sad thing is, at the moment, I don't know that my verbal praise is actually reinforcing her because she's still nervous about who I am and what my part is in all of this. So we've just pulled into a fairly busy parking lot and her head is a bit on a swivel. I've opened up both back windows for her just to crack so that she can have some airflow and not feel like she is uh, restrained and stuffy and trapped, although she might feel that way anyway. Um, we can see have heavy panting, which is an indication obviously of stress. So she is stressed um, by this outing. Um, that, absolutely, there's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. But we are gonna park here we're pretty far from the entrances of any stores, but we are parked in a busy parking lot. So I'm gonna park here between two cars and see how we do. So we've now stopped the car and I think she's anticipating something to happen. So she has enough experience with the car to know that when the car stops, we like get out of the car, something's gonna happen. And unfortunately, I think a lot of her car rides have been to places that she didn't necessarily want to go so we might be fighting the game out of it good girl um i'm gonna get out of the car and see how she reacts when i leave the vehicle and then when i res come back to the vehicle i'm gonna load up in the back seat beside her
Gold River, Copper River, and Salmon Nest. We have Rapper and Corporation Pink and Black. Look at these different ones. Okay, we're gonna drive around a little bit more and see how our girl does. We're just driving like in behind all of these big buildings and there's a fence here and on the other side of the fence is the ReStore. So we're right behind all of the big box stars stores and I am going to get out of the car with Miss Penny here and then we are going to go on the long line so she doesn't feel so trapped and I'm going to let her sniff and explore along the fence. She's watching right now the comings and goings way down there of the traffic because that's the only place that there's movement. There's no movement anywhere else. So you hear, you see the sound sensitivity because I put the car into park and you heard the doors unlock and that made her like jump a bit. And then the only other thing that she's focused on right now is like way down there because this is kind of a good spot. There's not much happening except for in isolated areas. So I think this is a good spot to explore. Okay, I spoke too soon. So the lady is now walking past us and Penny is just watching her. Now she's on the other side watching her. I think she's going to watch her until she disappears. Here's Ping looking out the back and there's another lady walking past here so we'll see her reaction. Good girl. Good Ping. She notices this lady. Yeah, good girl. You're alright. Do you want some food? No, can't eat. You like the smell? You can eat. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to start with a 12 foot line. So I've given her a 12 foot line. Okay, Ping, you can come out if you want. And she doesn't have to come out, but she can come out if she wants. So I get to see what decisions she's going to make. You don't have to come out, baby. Good, that's a bird. There you go. See if she'll eat those treats. Oh, here she comes. Good girl, Ping. Oh, there's a person. Oh, let's see what decision she makes. Good girl, Ping. Hi. Good girl. Good girl. You looking to get back in the car? Okay, she goes back in the car. There you did it. So safe in there. Good girl. See if she comes out again. She's got the safety of the car, so obviously she's recognizing that's a safe place. So that's amazing. She can come out if she wants, but we've got this fence here. And she's free to make her own choices. I'm not forcing her to do anything she doesn't want to do right now. So she's going to look at the other side. That's good girl. Way to go. And if she wants to, she can come out. And if she doesn't want to, she can stay in. There's another car driving past. She's just watching. Good girl. Very nice. So this is telling me that she is curious about the world. She is interested in it, but she is terrified of it. So this allowing her opportunities to make some good choices within a safety network is a really good plan. Wow, good job, Ping. Good work, honey. Good work. Wow, that's so brave. What a brave girl you are. Good shake, Ping. Good girl. Here's the other car. There's my car just turning on for a second. 
Wow. What a brave girl you are. Where are you going? Gotta stay here, honey. Good girl. Being so brave. What a good girl you are. You wanna go that way? Wait for me, please. Thank you, I'm coming. Wait for me, please. Good, good girl. You wanna check it out? I think she has to poop. She does. Yay, good pooping. Good girl. Let's see what she does when she's done pooping. Good girl. You're okay, honey. You wanna go back to the safety of the car? Where are you going? Too far, hon. Good girl. Maybe she, she's looking like she's trying to escape. Let's see if I give her the car to see if she wants to go. Come on, honey. Oh, back in the car. Let's go this way. Come on. Good girl. This way. Come on. Good girl. Good job. The car's over here, sweetheart. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on, baby. Good girl. Okay, so we'll walk out of that tangle. She's got a leg tangle there. Let's see if she'll walk out of the tangle. We'll give her some space to do so. Okay, right, we're almost out of the tangle. Let's see. Good girl. And I can walk down my line to help her. Because she's still trying to get away from me a bit. Because she's still nervous of me. Boop. Boop. Careful, honey. I gotta untangle you. There you go. There we go. Come on, babe. Let's go to the car. Let's go to the car. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. I gotta clean up your poop, too. Good girl, Ping. Come on, baby. Let's see if she'll go back. Come on, up, up. Running around. Good girl. You wanna go up, babe? Ping, this way. This way. <laughs> Open the door a little wider. Good girl. Good shake. Let's go up, up. So there's some silliness here. That's some silliness. This way, babe. Good. Nice choice. Good work. Excellent girl. Excellent girl. Very good choice, honey. Very good choice. Such a nice girl. Let her watch me clean up her poop. I'm gonna clean up your poop now. Good girl. Wow, Ping, that was so amazing. Wow, you're an amazing girl. You're such a good girl, yeah. That was an excellent little adventure. Should we find another spot to go look at things? Okay, all right, here we go. Good girl. Should we go this way, maybe? All right, let's do it. Yeah, good girl. So we're like traveling in behind all of these buildings. Good girl. Moving slowly. That's it. Oh, the sun is out, Ping. It's a beautiful sunny day at the moment. There's lots of cars now. And you can see the stress increase in her actually as we get around more populated areas because she starts to become agitated and vigilant about all the movement. And you can see that now because now we're, we're um, on the other side of the building. So we're not in the back of the buildings anymore. Now we're we're right in amongst all of the people and the traffic. And you can hear the panting increase and you can see the stress increase. Hmm. That's good for us to know. She's trying to escape actually. It's time for us to start heading back, but I just wanted to test the theory because think that when we were behind the buildings where there was less going on that her panting decreased a bit and her pupils
pupils weren't quite as dilated. I think I saw a reduction in stress when we were behind the buildings as opposed to being in front where everything's happening and we're driving around. So we're gonna go just for another little tour behind the buildings again. There's this lady cross. Okay, we just let that lady cross the street. She's got a lovely yellow jacket. Yes, she does. That's all right. So we're going to head to the back of the buildings again and see if we see a different version of our girl. Okay, so now we're going behind the buildings again. And let's just stop. There's really nothing around us, I'll show you. This is just a series of dumpsters and just these walls. And then behind us. Well, we can't really see behind us anyway, can we, my girl? It's just hearing something right now. Get her out again and see how she uh, she handles that. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. I just want to unclip this one. There we go. And I'm just going to take this hand out. But you're free if you want to come out, you can. If you want to. Good girl. Where are you going? Let's see if she'll engage her. Good shape. Oops, sorry, honey. I, I tripped on your leash. Good girl. There's a big truck there. Good girl. She's sticking close to me, which is nice this time. Wait for me, honey. Good girl. Good shake. You want to see the snow? Let's go see it. Careful. Wait for me, please. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is that fun? Do you want to climb the snow? Come on up here. Good girl. Good girl. You're all right. Look. You want to sniff this? You want to go back?